So as we talk about spacing, right, the idea is not just in the fast break about bringing bigs away for the basket, but in the half court as well. So you saw in the horns look, hey, we had five and four come out to screen. We'll also have the five and four come out in a staggered ball screen look. Again, the idea is bringing their bigs away from the basket gives us an opportunity to get to the basket to draw fouls, right? So you're looking at a double fist action right now with our five coming up and being the first screen, our four is going to be to the second screen. Now, if our five doesn't see the all of a sudden sees an opportunity to slip. Let's say he slips as the first screen. Here comes the second screen, right? We brought the five out, we brought the four out. Let's say we've come off this, and this time we're gonna pick and pop over here, right? We've got an opportunity to turn the corner on this double screen. We're looking for the five. We've got an opportunity to pitch it, right, to our opposite wing where he's got penetration opportunities. But the idea again is, by bringing both bigs out to the top, by bringing both bigs out to the, wig, to the wing, you're looking at trying to identify how to be able to get to the basket, bring their weaker defenders out on the perimeter whenever possible. So now we're gonna do the same thing, right? But now we're gonna show a little twist on it where we're gonna screen and then you're gonna rescreen for Kevin on the flare. So we'll walk through this. So come up here and screen. You're looking at the cleanup screen. This time he's coming off, freeze right there. He's coming off and now we're going to keep him occupied and we're going to screen a flare screen for you coming out here. Again, we might have a really good three-point shooter as the four-man spot, right? We might have a five-man that's really good at screening and slipping to the basket, but we're trying to keep guys occupied so that as we run the double screen, it's not just, hey, they're screening and they're not really part of the play where the defensive players can stay back in here but we're looking for opportunity and options for those guys rolling to the basket, picking and popping out to the three-point line and take advantage of guys that are able to shoot the ball or put the ball on the floor against the other team's inside players.